Hello, I want to show off something I'm kind of working on. I'm spending a lot of time learning Unity 3D and going through these tutorials called uh, Math for Coders. And um, these are one of my first experiments really mixing the two things I'm learning. So uh, this is actually a procedure generated hexagon mesh. And once I managed to work that out, um, started to have some fun with the mesh. So I worked out a way to actually generate it in a circular grid pattern. Um, and you know what, since I got it this far, why not just have some fun and animate it too. And here you go. Animating procedurally generated hex meshes. So that's pretty much it for that. Um, I'll probably post the link to the source code for GitHub for you guys to look at and try out and play with. Um, I'll also put links to some tutorials I found online that all the little bits and pieces that really helped me get to this point. Um, uh, there's actually a lot of things that the, the component can do. It's more than just hex. I can You can actually do any type of cil cylinder shape. You know, you just all you have to do is just tell it how many points you want, what the radius is, the height, and uh, even added like debug points, which is which is not showing up right now. Oh, wait, that's because I did it during. There you go. This way you can kind of help debug what's going on. But yeah, you can do a lot of shapes uh, with just one single component. You can actually do a circle, or I should say a cylinder, a uh, hexagon. Play around with it. I changed, added something called center point offset. So this way you can uh, take the center point of the two faces and uh, adjust them. So this way you kind of create like a nice diamond or gem type of shape. And you can you know, you can technically create a square, and, you know, create a triangle whatever so there you go just something to show off and hopefully you guys can play around with it and and uh have fun